Hi there guys, um, so I was watching a video by Hoover Master and he said he's afraid to use his vintage vacuum cleaners because of the suppressors blowing up. Now, um, they don't always blow up, um, main ones to blow up are the vac one to ones and mainly vacuum past them, but the suppressor in this blew up um, when I first got it. I did remove it, um, but now it's okay, so we're going to show you how to remove it and where it is. And also I've got the new style rewind on this, which, well me, has the suppressor in there, because I replaced, uh, just had my din, sorry, because I replaced the suppressor and it's in the rewind, so I'll just show you how to remove that one. So first off, what you want to do is you want to remove the lid off the Henry, um, I'll just show you this Henry quick, I did wash the filter, it smells very nice, um, so let's just... Want to turn our motor upside down. This is for 90s Henry's um, from about 1985 to around 19, no, probably to about maybe 2002. So you just want to remove your screws, my electric screwdriver. Upside down and pull that off. Um, just pull that insert out. Put your casing over there. And rewind the the newest presses would be in there, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, so here's the main um, thing. So I'll just put it on the base. Here we go. Uh, here's the main. Um, Thing. Um, here's our power switch and there's our wiring in there. Um, we've also got our power takeoff socket. Now the um, wire in here, in here is a bit muddled up but um, here on these two wires there'll be a suppressor in between there so what you'll do you'll take your two you take your wire cutters and just chop it off and throw it away um, but it would be on there and then it would work fine. Um, wouldn't be no, uh, wouldn't have no kind of safety taken away from it. So there's how to do the 90s ones. And now I'll show you how to do the newer ones, which I've got on this too. So what you'd want to do is you want to um, undo the three screws inside with your um, screwdriver. So I'll just do that now. off there and as you can see our suppressors there so what you'd want to do is just want to unscrew your wire um, terminals just take the wires out um, so the, uh, the brown one would go here and the blue one would go here just take these wires out fully like so and uh, that just now lifts out. There we go. And there is a suppressor. Very, very tiny little bomb, basically. Um, but it's back in here. Very easy to do. It just takes five or ten minutes about this short tutorial. find out of a screw where 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 the hell did it go here it is I've got pins and needles in my foot uh, go that goes on there and then to get this bit back on there should be an arrow around here there's an arrow there and there's an arrow here I believe uh, let's turn that they line up turn that Set over and rewind the set over. Just screw our screws back in, like so. There we go, screws back in like that. Now rewind 
cassette goes back on the top of our Henry, like that. I see this one's slightly different to any other. Um, and then we get our motor casing. One where the rewind is first. Um, just do the one where the rewind is first. So do that one. Then we go off six. So it's done evenly. That's it. Go. And that all goes on there. Just make sure it's all pushed down. basically to stop interference with old TVs and radios etc and basically was fitted to all vacuum cleaners back in the day. Um, now suppressors were probably from early 50s to around probably well pneumatic still use these in their current um, low wattage machines don't know why there's no need to. Um, Dyson don't use them well I think they do I think they're on the motor though um, I know Dyson use them still, Vax maybe, I'm not sure, but some vacuum still use these. Very problematic, um, that's how to remove it if it's gone bang on your hoover, and they do make quite a performance. Um, I assume if you rigged one of these up, and it would go bang like a firework. But, um, yeah, it's, well, I don't know what it is inside, I'd like to cut one open and see what's in there, probably a load of wire windings or something. But there we go, there's how to um, remove your suppressor in your older Henry or um, maybe another model, David maybe, I don't know. But there we go, there's that quick video and um, thanks for watching and bye for now.